Okay, so I've got my retro taillight panel. This is made by Six Speed. Uh, they're available on eBay, and this is a reproduction of a panel that was originally created by a company called Garage Vary, and it basically just replaces the rear panel on your Miata as well as your taillights and allows you to run uh, a five inch round taillight, uh, thus giving the car kind of a retro antique car and taillight kind of look. Um, so like I said, this is a reproduction of the original Garage Vary panels. As far as I can tell, they are uh, identical really in shape and, and uh, everything is the same between them. This is significantly cheaper in price than the original Garage Vary panels. Um, my initial uh, thoughts on it, it does appear to be pretty well made as far as it is um, uniform thickness all around. There doesn't seem to be any bubbles in it. There is no cracks in it. You can see on the edges here, some quick finish work was done to it before I received it. Um, the gel coat you can see in spots is going to need some work for sure. So probably a good amount of finish work is going to be required before I can put this on my car, before I can paint it and install it on the car. Um, I am going to test fit it tomorrow and see how fitment goes. Um, I was excited to do a review of this product because so far I haven't been able to find anything on YouTube regarding it. I found a little bit of information on some of the Miata forums regarding these and people have given them pretty bad reviews. Uh, one example I saw was a forum member had purchased one of these from another forum member and they had painted it silver to match their car and uh, some pictures were uploaded of the guy who purchased it and uh, and everyone was really kind of bashing it because it had an awful awful finished job um, the guy must have just painted it like this right out of the box um, there was painting everywhere in the paint it just looked really bad um, and I believe I believe he thought he was purchasing an original Garage Vary panel. Um, you can tell if you have an original Garage Vary panel because they will have a Garage Vary logo stenciled on here and maybe a, a serial number, I'm not sure, part number at least. Um, so initial out of the box impression of it is pretty good. It seems pretty solid. Um, I also opted to purchase a set of their tail lights which you can purchase separately from these uh, or as a package deal and see this is one of the lights here I opted to get the all clear lights which are significantly more expensive uh, than the standard red and amber lights these ones retail uh, on six speeds eBay store for 250 bucks a set um, if you buy them with the panel you also get the reverse light and you can you can save a little bit not a whole lot so initial impression of these lights is that they are not worth the amount of money I paid for them um, these were probably made for pennies on the dollar this is an acrylic lens this is not glass um, it's not approved by the SAE or, or anything like that. So these would technically be illegal for use on the road. Um, I actually opted for the clear lights so that I could have the option uh, to run all clear lights if I wanted. Um, and my initial plan was to tint them a little bit. Um, but seeing as there is hardly any reflective material in here at all, they do kind of have a darker appearance than they would um, if 
maybe if this was was lined you know with a reflective material like a headlight or taillight usually is so you can see it's just got that small amount of tin in there or whatever and it's not even very reflective at that so that does darken it quite a bit um i've messed around with the other lens here testing out uh a few different options with my tint film um so i will probably end up tinting at least half of these red uh two layers of that red film on there it gets a pretty nice deep color red one layer is kind of pink um so i think i will most likely do half red and then the other half clear or maybe a small amount of the smoked tint and see how that looks the seals on them um, I'm not sure I wouldn't definitely wouldn't trust these to be watertight you can see on the bottom of the lens too there is a little notch in it which is presumably for draining uh, any moisture that might get trapped in there uh, one good thing about these lights is that they are plug and play so you simply just unplug your factory taillights and plug these in uh, this bulb here is your turn indicators this bulb with two filaments uh, one is your running light and apply the brakes the other filament lights up and I can't tell exactly what this bulb does. Uh, it didn't light up using it on my car. So I don't know if maybe it's a European reverse fog light, something or other. Um, so this actually did not light up very much more at all when applying the brake. So I might end up wiring this extra small bulb into the brake, brake wiring so that it lights up. Uh, these are probably pretty cheap bulbs uh i am going to be replacing them with leds so that's a little bit more money i've got to spend to replace these and i'm not sure i've had tail lights uh melt or getting too hot from the bulb i don't know how hot these bulbs might get with this acrylic lens so i would like to play it safe with the leds and they will probably be much brighter as well um, these are reproductions of a tail light from a K truck from Japan called the Mazda Porter Cab. And uh, those lights are discontinued. I couldn't find anywhere to purchase them online. They come in just the standard red and amber. Um, but there doesn't appear to be anywhere to buy them online. There isn't a whole lot of options I found online either for a 5 inch round light to use with this panel. Uh, some forum searching, uh, I found a, a couple options. Uh, a pretty decent one from Hella that, um, that could work out. Also, uh, some people have put Corvette taillights into these um, taillights from other uh, other makes and models of cars that have, you know, are a single round light. And there is some options online as far as LED lights go. And everything else seems to be much, much cheaper than these lights are. Uh, like I said, these ones retail for $250 for the all clear one and $250 for the red and clear they also have available a red and amber and a red and smoked. And I think those ones are around 180. Um, so that's a big increase in price um, for, you know, the only difference between the lights being the color of the lens. You figure a clear one would be cheaper, but it's quite a lot more. So I ended up paying that price because I was pretty much dead set on being able to have clear lights as an option if I wanted. Um, but uh, definitely not worth the price they cost. They also did not come with any mounting hardware. Um, even if they did, I probably would have replaced it anyways. This is the reverse light. Uh, this is from a Daihatsu Midget, I think, was, which is also another K truck from Japan. And these did include two mounting screws, and they look to be pretty decent chrome-plated ones, but... They did not even come with nuts. Uh, they just give you a rubber O-ring on the back. 
So I definitely not would not trust that with this to hold it in place at least. So quite a bit of finishing work is going to have to go into that panel. Um, tomorrow I will test the fitment on it. These lights will probably are definitely going to require a little bit of customization to get them looking the way I want. And I want to make sure they illuminate well and is very, very clear for braking and turd signals, etc. So initial impression of the panel seems to be worth the cost. These go, uh, I believe they're around $180 on, on eBay. Okay, so the original garage very panel they are still available. They were discontinued for a while. Uh, they are being offered through this website, Nengen.com. I think you can also get them through Rev9. Um, you can see here the, the OEM Mazda tail lamps are discontinued. They do have the panel and the reverse light available. You can also see in this picture here the authentic garage very panel also comes with these uh, extra components here, which are for, uh, I'd imagine, sealing up the tail light holes and keeping water out of your trunk. This looks like it comes with hardware. So the authentic kit looks definitely a little bit more complete. Let's see here. Here is the taillight options that Six Speed has in their eBay store. You can see uh, 183.89 for the red and amber lights, and uh, same price for the smoked and red lights. Um, I did consider these ones, but that looks pretty dark to me. Um, I'd want to see maybe a better picture of it. You kind of get an example of it there, but um, I figured I could just tint them myself. And you can see here the clear and red and all clear lights are $249.88. And they all, you can see they also offer this same panel in a carbon fiber finish with uh, whichever type of the lights you prefer for about $700 bucks plus shipping. Um, I have no idea what the finish is like on these carbon fiber panels. I'd imagine it would have to be much better. Um, than the fiberglass one as something with carbon fiber unless you're going to paint it you're not going to want to do finish work you're going to want to you know install that without having to worry about things like that so we can see here is a another type of lamp this is available from Hella and these are actually SAE approved uh, these are a five inch round light, I believe, or close to that in millimeters. And you can see they have a lot of different options there for as far as what you want them to look like or what function you want them to have. And these ones, I think they're pretty cheap, certainly compared to the, uh, the ones being offered on eBay. Probably, depending on what options you choose, less than 40 bucks per light. Here is another site um, that I found a link to in, on the Miata forum. And this is a company that sells, I guess, just basic kind of, uh, kind of lights. They might have some kind of an option there. Um, here is their carbon fiber options again. Uh, and this is kind of confusing. I see this. A listing for the panel alone for 183.89, and then a listing. Uh, <clears throat> it must be from a different store at uh, 269.88. So um, this price is not much less than buying a true GV panel through Rev9 or through. Uh, what is this, nengen.com. So tomorrow I am going to go ahead and test fit this and finish up the video. And I really kind of just wanted to get this out there. Um, I haven't been able to find much information about these panels as far as reviews go. 
Um, so I hope this video can uh, help you out if this is an option you're considering for your so car. So I'm just giving the lights a test here. I replaced the two main bulbs with LED ones. This one is amber for the turn signal and this one is just a clear or a white LED. And uh, I'll use, uh, use that, it will be red um, so by the tint film I'm gonna apply on it. Um, I'm gonna give them a test here. Here's with the hazard light. Okay, that works good. Um, now this is the part that doesn't work for me. Stepping on the brakes illuminates the bottom ring of LEDs. And if I am to turn on the running lights, that illuminates the entire cluster. And then from there, if I step on the brakes, it just kind of blinks. It doesn't uh, amplify the light or anything. So to correct that problem, I'm not sure if all these lights would come like this, but I simply popped uh, two of these pins out, the red and green wire, and switched them so that when I step on the brake, the whole cluster will light up, and if the running lights are on, just that bottom ring will. So I don't know if that's a mistake or an oversight on their part. I don't know if they're all like that, but definitely worth noting. Hey, Betsy. There's the other mukaus. I'm here in the barn where I've got my Miata, my other Miata, stored for the winter. I've got my taillights out and the rear finish panel removed, so I'm going to test fit the uh, six-speed panel here and see how it looks. All right, so that is it just set on there, and I have to say, <clears throat> I am pretty satisfied with the fitment, even just setting it on here. Um... Real nice and even all the way along the taillight portion there. Um, a little bit of a different angle there on this piece. Nothing I can't fix there. Uh, very nice even line all the way across the trunk. And again, good fitment over here. It sticks out a little bit right there, but that can be pushed in just fine. Uh, these are actually only held in place by these two screws here, so I'll probably attach it there and then with some uh, double-sided tape, some 3M tape to uh, affix it around the taillights probably. Um, I can see that my lock cylinder does not line up properly, um, but there is ways you can move and manipulate that and stack washers on either side to have it line up better. So I have to say I'm quite satisfied with the way this fits on the car And I really don't think it'll take too much body work on it Before I can paint it. I don't think I'll have to use any body filler anywhere on it uh, mostly just sanding and elbow grease and just you know basic finishing work on it, so Thumbs up to the six-speed panel I'm happy with it all right, so here's a mock-up of it. I think this is going to look pretty sick. Uh, this Miata is definitely going to have a really nice rear end um, with that cobalt exhaust and those nice sticky tires. And uh, I think I'll probably go, I'll probably go with uh, what I kind of have mocked up here for the tint, which is uh, two layers of red, and then I'll probably put one layer of the light smoke tint over it. I think that'll look pretty good. I'm pretty stoked about this. I think it's going to look fucking sweet. Um, I'm just pissed off about this scratch. Someone hit my car last summer. I came out of it and it was like that in the parking lot. I'm pretty pissed about that because it's definitely detracting from what could be a fucking awesome rear end. So yeah, I'm definitely excited about this. Thumbs up on the six speed panel. I'm very satisfied with it. So I hope this can give you a good idea of the quality of their panels. Um, like I said, I'm very satisfied with the panel itself. Uh, the taillights, not so much. Um, I'll have to get hardware, three bolts for each light. So I think what, I'm, what I might end up doing though is on the back of the panel, I might, um, I don't know, like epoxy, 
nuts in place so that they can just be screwed in like that as opposed to having to remove the panel entirely to access the lights or anything like that. So I know there isn't a whole lot of options or at least ones that I know about as far as taillights people have used in these panels. So if you know of any um, that I didn't talk about in this video, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, I'd love to see or hear what other people have done with the panel. And uh, if you've, you've uh, bought one of these or have one on your car, uh, let me know what you think of it. I'd love to hear. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing the body work on this panel and getting it primed. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the paint. I think I'll have to have a shop uh, mix the paint up for me because this is a custom color. I have no idea. It's got silver flake in it, so I would like it to match. I don't think I want to have it black or anything like that. So I'm going to look into that. So stay tuned if you want to see how this turns out. Um, I'll probably start doing some body work on it today and hopefully get it primed soon. Um, so I'll be happy when I can back this, this little girl out of the barn and show off her new rear end. So stay tuned and hope to see you next time. Peace.